When it first arrived in 2014, the Wego managed to become one of Toyota's best-selling models, thanks largely to a number of factors aimed at its target market. Its size is an ideal carriage around our congested streets, it's got a relatively frugal 1.0-liter engine, and the sub-600,000 Philippine pesos price tag is a very good price point for first-time car buyers. When I say sub-600,000, I mean 1,000 pesos, but hey, 1,000 peso savings is still 1,000 peso savings. As such, Toyota intends to maintain the local market's positive response to the Wego with this refreshed 2017 model. If you're familiar with the previous model, spotting the differences on the new Wego won't be that difficult. Let's start with a new bumper, of course a new grille, you've got new headlamps, and a new hood. The side contours are pretty much the same, however you don't need an eagle eye to spot the new alloy mags and turn signals on the side mirrors. Here at the back it's easy to spot the changes too. It's got sharper taillights, a new bumper, and a spoiler. So it gives the Wigu a more striking, more aggressive look. Trunk space is, well, it's adequate as you can see. It's got enough space for overnight bags and a bit more. The interior has design updates as well. For instance, the instrument cluster, which now incorporates a small screen to tell you what gear you're on, in this, the automatic variant. The air conditioning controls have gone from three knobs to two, and considering the size of this car, it's got a massive touchscreen infotainment system with optional nav. Here at the back, the Wego's natural seating position is elevated, which in turn gives you a surprising amount of legroom, like you could fit two large adults back here. But let's be realistic, considering the amount of cabin space that you have and limited elbow room, you'd be better off with fitting two average to below average size Filipinos back here. the Wego is a carryover engine from the previous model. However, with this one, Toyota has integrated its VVTi technology, which in turn gives it a slight boost in power, bringing it up to 66 HP. Now, when I say slight, I mean one horsepower. But hey, if savings of a thousand pesos is a thousand pesos, then in this car, one horsepower is still one horsepower. The fixed steering wheel is a bit heavier than the previous model, which other people tend to like. I personally would prefer a lighter steering because, well, the Wigo is meant for within the city streets after all. In terms of ride comfort, well, you're not gonna get an Altis-like ride here. I mean, you don't have to drive around like Miss Daisy's at back, but it is a one liter engine, so you should drive it accordingly. At the end of the day, it does what it does well. It brings you from point A to point B, away from the sun, the rain, and the suit of the city. The Wego does take some time to reach higher speeds, and the cabin acoustics could use some help. Because of tire and wind noise, it does get pretty loud in here once you reach 80 kilometers per hour and above. Overall, the Wego's features, which include front and passenger side airbags, make it a very strong contender in the hotly contested subcompact hatch category. This 2017 Wego G Automatic is available at 599,000 Philippine pesos, which at that price point makes it great for those looking for a small car to ferry them through city traffic.